Welcome to Fighting Spirit Mania. This is going to be the full set I'm going to do between Rancor and Masuchi. I expect this. Obviously, we saw both these guys, Masuchi, going very high in Hasu League last season. I don't want to spoil that. Also, Rancor, the same. Again, no spoilers, just in case. But the upper left-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the Black Zerg. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Masuchi starting as the Orange Zerg. It is a beer match. ZVZ makes this a little bit easier on me because they tend to be faster matches. But these two guys... First of all, you got Rancor, who is just an amazingly aggressive Zerg. You have Masuchi, who... Yeah, made it all the way... Uh, I, I, I'll spoil this. He made it all the way to the final match. I won't say whether he won or not. Regardless, I think these guys can pick games off one another. I do have a favorite. I'm going to keep that to myself. Looks like both Overlords, by the way, scouting the upper right-hand corner first. But I think... Rather than what was just going to be a straight sweep, I expect there to be an exchange of games for a number of reasons. One, because it's ZVZ. Two, because I feel like the skill level here is a little bit closer. But three, I think we're going to see uh, some incredible matches. Nine pool for Masuchi starting in the bottom right-hand corner. Looks like we are seeing an Overlord first build in the upper left-hand corner from Rancor. And it looks like he is... We'll see if he moves a drone off, but it looks like he is, in fact, going to opt for a 12 hatchery, which means this could be an auto win for Masuchi, potentially, depending on scouting. So here's the thing. On four-player maps like this, it is a challenge opening up nine pool because, yes, you can get auto victories if you can scout your opponent. That'll be the trick. Looks like we do have drones sneaking into gas right here. So initial six Zerglings should be produced for Masuchi. However, in order to really utilize these Zerglings, he needs to find his opponent's base. And he's got to do that scouting with these Zerglings. In the meantime, Rancor is going to be in the dark. But if he can get that spawning pool up, get some Zerglings of his own out, if he can just weather and buy some time, he will have a huge advantage. He'll not just have the economic advantage of having his natural expansion, but he will also have the advantage of larva production. But in the short window here, more Zerglings on the ground and more surface area to defend for Rancor. And it looks like it's just going to be pure Zerglings at this stage. Zergling speed also being upgraded. And Masuchi splitting off a single Zergling to the bottom left. It looks like he has, in fact, guessed correctly. So this is going to... It is possible to defend. Jadong did it once. But it is extremely difficult. The Overlord sees the Zerglings moving in now. Spawning Pool just finishes... Four Zerglings being produced, but the Zerglings are already attacking this natural expansion. This is quite a distance on a map to cover, by the way. Zerglings should be produced off this larva, and drones are going to have to get pulled off the line. So it's going to come down to timing. But more Zerglings are on the way. Keep in mind, they're going to have speed much earlier as well. The hatchery, the natural expansion hatchery, does not look like it's going to survive. Now Rancor is just going to try to stay alive in this match. Four Zerglings against overwhelming odds, however. And it looks like that is going to be GG. Quick early victory for Masuchi off what I will call a build order win. It, again, it is possible to defend, but extremely difficult. So the gamble pays off game one. So Masuchi goes up 1-0. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.